going to show you how to make creative kiwis in the hoop jungle animals combo block and for that I'm going to be using my 8x8 hoop cutaway stabilizer my batting fabric and organza cut to size I've got some masking tape a selection of threads my scissors and my squizzers the first thing you're going to do is hoop your stabiliser. If you're doing the applique version, you might want to use wash away. If you're doing the in the hoop uh, version for quilting blocks, you might want to use cut away. I'm having to use both and I'll explain why. I've cut a piece to, uh, of um, stabiliser, cut away stabiliser to 10 by 10. That's the same size as my largest fabric. Now I haven't got any extra wide um, cutaway stabiliser so what I'm going to do is float it on top of wash away stabiliser. So that will go down there and my fabrics will go on top. So start off by hooping your stabiliser. I like to pin mine around the edge. I have done a video on how to do that. I will include the link and then you're going to pop this into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. Next you're going to place your batting and your main fabric down. I've got the addition of a cutaway stabiliser with mine. And then you're going to tape it in place so that it doesn't move during stitching. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure the fabric and batting. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to do the quilted frame around the edge here. So load whatever colour thread you want for that into your machine first. Round number four is going to give you your placement line for your inside fabric here. If you've got a very dark fabric, lower fabric, and it's going to show through on the upper one, you can actually trim out this piece of fabric in the centre here, because the only one that you want to keep is this one really. Take your inner frame fabric and place it down over the outline and tape it in place. You're now going to pop this into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to stitch this fabric down and it's also going to give you your animal placement line. Place your fabric that you're going to use for your animal over the outline and then just tape it in place to hold it during stitching. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess fabric from around the animal and also from your inner frame. now going to stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges around the animal and also the inner frame. Mm -hmm. 
Round number eight is going to stitch the background scenery so you might want to change your thread to an appropriate colour. I've changed mine to green. The next stitching to be done is the satin stitching around the feet here. So I've loaded grey into my machine so you might want to load an appropriate colour into yours as well. And then you're going to stitch round number nine. Next is to lay down the organza. Now the organza is going to come to about here so we want to make sure that we've got enough to fold back. So lay it down and then tape it in place. Pop it back into your machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to do a line of stitching across here to secure the, fat, uh, the organza and then you're going to double it back afterwards. I've put some white thread in my machine for this. I've removed the tape from the organza and I'm now going to pull that back and make it lay flat and then tape it in place with some tape and I think I'm going to put a little bit on the edges as well just to hold them flat now I'm going to put that back into your machine and stitch round number 11 and that's going to stitch around here to hold the organza down flat you're now going to trim the excess um, organza away. I've removed the tape. I've changed my thread to light brown. Um, next you're going to stitch round number 12 and that's going to do the um, satin stitching around here change your thread to white because next is the white of the eyes and then stitch round number 13 change your thread to whatever color you want for the color of the eye and then you're going to stitch round number 14 I've changed mine to dark brown. Change your thread to black and then you're going to stitch round number 15 and that's going to be the black of the eyes. The last round of stitching is going to do the satin stitch around the head here. So you'll want to change your thread colour to an appropriate colour and then you're going to stitch round number 16. Now going to remove this from the hoop. I've already removed the pins and any tape. And that's the first of your quilt blocks made. We're now going to do the second block. I've hooped my stabilizer and I'm going to, as before, float my cutaway on top and then you're going to pop this into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. Next you're going to place your batting and your main fabric down. I've got the addition of a cutaway stabilizer with mine. And then you're going to tape it in place so that it doesn't move during stitching. You're now going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure the fabric and batting. Round number three is going to be the paw print frame around the outside so change your thread to whatever colour you want for that and then you're going to stitch round number three. Mm -hmm. 
Next is round number four and that's going to stitch the frame placement outline there. You're now going to place your frame fabric in the centre. Lay your inner fabric down over the top and then tape it down. And now you're going to stitch round number five and that's going to stitch this fabric down but also give you your um, animal placement outline as well. Lay your animal fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. You can now remo remove the tape that's securing your two pieces of fabric and you're going to trim up all the excess around the hippo and from the inner frame. Going to pop that into your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to zigzag the raw edges around the hippo and the inner frame. Next you're going to stitch the background scenery so you're probably going to want to change your thread colour. I've changed mine to green and then you're going to stitch uh, round number eight. The next thing to be stitched is the zigzagging around the outside of the animal. So I've changed my thread to grey for this. Uh, you might want to change yours. And then you're going to stitch round number nine. Next is a waterline. So I'm going to place my organza over the outline and tape it in place. And then you're going to stitch round number 10 to secure it. You might want to change your thread to white for this or an appropriate colour for your um, centre fabric. I've removed the tape from the organza and I'm now going to flip this right the way back and tape it in place. I'm just going to trim this back a little bit. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 11 and that's going to secure it around the edge of the frame here. You're now going to trim up the excess organza if you've used it. The last round of stitching is a satin stitching around the frame here so you might want to change your thread to an appropriate colour and then stitch round number 12. Now all that remains is to free this from the hoop and to trim it to size. And there's my two blocks all trimmed up and now they're all ready to turn into something special. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. Mm -hmm.